Do you know what? I'm getting sick and tired of left-wing MPs and the political left in general making everything about identity politics. This one, another beauty. Dr. Rosona Aline Khan, who's come out, the Labour MP, come out to say that the Ukraine conflict, we only care about them. We basically, we're only helping them because they are white. Yeah, maybe, yeah, because of what, how they, what they look like, how they look like. That's simply the reason. Nothing to do with the historic battle between NATO and uh, Russia. Nothing to do with the strategic, uh, also mistakes in the past. No, 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 it's got nothing to do with that because it's simply about identity politics. It's weird how they are completely forgetting uh, the main history behind this long-term cold conflict. It's been still going on between NATO and Kremlin. And uh, you know, regardless of getting into the details of uh, the mistakes in the past and you know, who, who made the wrong choices and everything else, we've talked about it a lot on this channel. Right now, really? Is this really about identity politics, according to the Labour MP? Is that's the, I mean, this happens, by the way, when uh, you have uh, the Labour Party, the modern Labour Party, that literally elects and selects anybody to become their next candidate to become MP based on identity politics. And you wonder why they're obsessed with this woke agenda. None of them have anything. They don't really have any talent. Based on merit, the majority of the new Labour MPs since 2015, so 2015, 2017 and 2019 intake, the Labour uh, politicians. Where is the merit? Where is the talent? Where is your next leader? Where is the next Labour Prime Minister? I still can't really see one because they don't even really know what they are doing. So she says, we always have to understand, and I think that's what we lack sometimes in the UK. Is it, is, I, I'm not really sure. This is actually the, the actual quote. I'm not really sure the grammar what happened here. It, is, it feels so much like an un, us versus them, us and them. When we look at foreign policy issues like Syria, like Afghanistan, you just said it. Afghanistan. We, we were very much involved in Afghanistan. We were very much, the mainstream media were very concerned when we withdrew from Afghanistan and all the chaos. And according to you, you say they don't look like us. Well, the rest of the UK. <laughs> no, no, they, they don't. But the West still care because foreign policy is based on strategy, not based on skin color. But she continues, she says, and I think uh, what a lot of people have felt with the Ukraine issue, and understandably so, is the reason that our government seems to have stepped up and done more is because they look more like us. Who are these a lot of people that he's talking about? A lot of people. I think, I, I'm guessing it's simply she's talking about her own supporters, her own base, because not really sure that's why people are thinking. There, there's a lot of issues around uh, the moves from... Uh, uh, NATO, the NATO support for Ukraine. We know exactly why that's going on. And uh, there, is a, there is a battle between the Western globalist side and uh, the protectionist Russian side. That's you know, historically been there for ages, regardless of skin color. But for some people in the Labour MPs, it's simply black and white. No pun intended. Now, <laughs> this is the same uh, Dr. Rosanna Alin Khan, who is as I said, the queen of fake news. It's not the first time she's been spreading. She's been saying things without thinking first. Uh, do you guys remember uh, a few months ago, uh, about, about a year ago, during the like, lockdown days, she tweeted a photo of <laughs> this photo of this, uh, I'm guessing, nurse or some uh, medical professional um, with, a, with a bin bag saying, if you've got the health secretary on WhatsApp, you get a PPE contract. Right? If you're a nurse working on the front line, you get a bin bag. That bin bag, that photo, is not the NHS, was from Spain. It's a hospital in Spain. That's, it's not the first time she did that. She's been tweeting a lot of nonsensical stuff. She's been forced to apologize. She's been forced to delete these tweets. You know, these people care about misinformation and disinformation, but they keep doing it. And the media keep promoting it. And this is why every single time we expose them, we think that we've done the job. You know, I sit here, I expose them. You guys share these videos and you guys can go out there, talk about these issues. You think that they're going to learn from their mistakes? No, no, no. They're never going to learn. But we are not going to give up. We're going to continue to expose them until we get them out of Parliament.